So now let's talk about an important topic that a lot of people just ignore, which is course, which stands for cross origin resource sharing. So what is course? So this is not going to be a theory course. We're just going to see some examples and then get to work. So course is a Node.js package that adds a layer of security to your API slash server and limits who can access it or limits who can access a certain route. So in plain English, we have a server. So we just can't allow anyone to just unconnect to our server. This is not safe and not professional. So we only, like our server, we set up course in it in a way that we only allow certain websites to connect with, to connect with us. So for example, we have our front end, which is, for example, localhost 3000. So we only allow localhost 3000. So if someone comes from another website, I don't know, whatever example, and then try to connect to the server, is gonna see that it's not you know allowed and then it's gonna block it so it works in a different way but let's see the example and then i'm gonna explain to you exactly how it works so now let's take this example we have a client which is github.com tries to connect to a server you know and the server is configured with course that allows only github to connect with it so the way that it works is simply this way so the server is configured with cores and allow github.com so the client send a request and then the server send a response but in the response in the header exactly it adds this property which is access control allow origin and adds the website that is configured in course to be allowed so it doesn't block it but it does send and add this in the header so what happened is the browser who does the blocking so the browser when he get the response he check the headers and sees this when he sees this he just compares so the origin we sent from is github.com and then the allow origin is github.com so which is the same so the browser is the one that allows the connection and doesn't block it so if the server for example was like configured the same way only allows allows github.com and we try to connect for example google.com the server is gonna in their response is gonna be the same but the browser is gonna see that the origin we send the request from is google.com and in the headers it sees in the response that it's only allowed github.com so then the browser is the one that's gonna block it so not the server is the one that blocks the request but the another server but the browser is the one that blocks it so in another example we have a server mainside.com which only allows as you see right here example.com so when we get the response it's gonna see the browser that we send it from example.com and it allows example.com so it's gonna allow it in the second example mainside.com only allow another site.com so the browser is going to see we send this from example.com but the server said in the response that it only allows another website another site.com so it's different than the one we sent from so it blocks it so this is simply how it is and in this document we have like a way how to install it and how to use it i'm gonna include this um, a pdf with the course but now let's get to work and explain a lot of interesting things about course so you know that you know understand what you're doing which is something important that every code you write you understand what you're doing so let's get to work so we're gonna start by installing the package so open the terminal and then npmi cores 10 seconds or less and it's gonna be installed as you see then we're gonna import it so we're gonna go const cores equal the keyboard is a bit you know far away from me so it's gonna hide to write but now we acquired it so now we're gonna go to the postman to test something so i'm gonna go dismiss and then we're gonna create a, a collection i'm gonna call it facebook and then inside this i wrote it wrong but it doesn't matter for now let me try again now it's right then inside this folder we're gonna create uh, all the requests that we're gonna test to a server so the first one is gonna be test cores so we're gonna test the cores so it's gonna be to ht I don't get it right here so we're gonna write it manually localhost 8000 and then we're gonna send the request and we see the same request in the route that we had right here which is this one we get the same message welcome from home uh, other uh, other thing that we get in the response is headers so this part is related to the request you know you want to send anything in the request you add it here but the response is this in the response you see there is nothing you know that relates to the origin or the allowed course or anything so so we're going to use now cores and we're going to use them in the most easiest way with the simplest way which is going to be app dot use which means that we're going to use something i don't know what to change to this then use and then inside this we're going to have cores 
this is the simplest setup and the most that you've seen you know in all examples and this what it does this you have course but you allow every access to your server from anywhere so now if we went and send the request again we're gonna see this added access control allow origin which we talked about but this time has star and star means that everyone you know allowed to connect to the server now we're gonna do a bit of a different setup so we're gonna go inside the cores or you can like do it right here so we're gonna go const and then options const options and then inside this we're gonna put all the options related to course so the first one is origin and here you decide which origin you want so for example i only want the http on a local host 3000 so i only want this to be <coughs> excuse me so i want only this to be allowed and now if we went to uh, postman and then send the request again uh, sorry i didn't add this here so we're going to add the the options to the course and then we're going to send again as, as you see right here access control allow origin and we have localhost 3000 that means only localhost 3000 is allowed to connect with us there's another option that we can add right here which is called use success status let me write this right there's a lot of s's status and then it's gonna be 200 so let me check if i write it wrong use success success status now it's right the reason we use 200 is uh, because some old browsers have a problem using 204 i'm gonna explain so when you send a request you get a response uh, status which is 200 200 means that everything went okay right and then there is another status which is 204 that means everything went okay but you can't like send any you know data in the body in the response so for example i can get the, the response 200 and can send like a message that says everything went all right but if you send the status 204 you can't send like that message it only sends the headers and some browsers have problem with that so we're gonna change the status to request is going to be 200 so all the browsers works uh, probably not all in, not the modern browsers like some old browsers probably not used right now or some smart tvs but uh, you're going to use it to make sure that everything works all right so this thing now we only allow this and i'm going to go far than this and we're going to go inside here and this is our front end i'm going to open the console and i'm going to show you how actually it does work so we go to front end i'm gonna go to source and then app and here i'm gonna write a simple function i'm gonna call it const like for example get and it's gonna be an async function an async function uh, that means that we're gonna wait for something like uh, when you have like many lines of code and there is a code that requires like a bit of time so we gotta wait for that to finish we can't like just run it and do uh, you know the process is not finished and we go and run the next thing no we want to wait you know till everything is finished right here so we're gonna send a response to the server so we're gonna await so we're gonna have a response const response which gonna use fetch you know this is simple javascript http slash slash local host 8000 and i always you know write something wrong and then we're gonna console log the response and then we're gonna run the function so now it's gonna wait and then we're gonna have here a wait and what it does it's a wait for the response then it you know it uh, it has the next code running so now we're gonna see that we get the response so if we refresh we see that we get the response and we get 200 as status so now if we went back to our server and change this let's go back to the server and instead of 3000 maybe you have another website maybe 7000 that means only localhost 7000 is allowed and localhost 3000 is not allowed so if we refresh again we're gonna see this problem as you see access to fetch ads from origin has been blocked by course policy that means it's not allowed so we're gonna return it to 3000 and as you see right now if we refresh it's gonna be working fine this is how cores work there is another thing that you can like allow multiple origins so we're gonna do this also so i'm gonna remove this so we're gonna have an array let's call it allowed and inside this array we're gonna have all the links that you want to allow to connect to the server i'm gonna have the main one which is the front end our front end and then we're gonna have some other link you can add as many as you want i'm here just to show you how to use them so we pass to the course the options so we're gonna have a function that's gonna be called options and it returns the actual options so let's gonna see so we have a function we're gonna call it options and it's gonna have a request and then a response okay 
and inside this we're gonna have a temporary variable and then we're gonna go and do something so we're gonna get first of all the origin of the request what's the origin so for example we sent a request from the front end to the back end the origin we sent from is localhost 3000 we're gonna get that from the request header so we're gonna have let origin is gonna go to the request and then header and inside this we get the origin simple as you like and then we're gonna check if the origin is inside the allowed array that means we're gonna allow the connection if the origin it doesn't exist in the array we're just gonna decline it so in our example localhost 3000 is gonna be included then the connection is gonna be allowed but if we have uh, some other link different than this on this it's not gonna be allowed so simply how we're gonna do this so we're gonna have a test and we're gonna see inside the allowed we're gonna go the to the allowed for, uh, allowed array and we're gonna search for so we're gonna search by index of index of is a javascript function that search for an element if it's found it it returns the index if not it returns minus one so we're gonna search for the origin and we're gonna see if it's greater than minus one or different than minus one whatever so in our example we have origin so and when we're gonna search by index of it's gonna find it and it's gonna be zero so it's larger than minus one that means it exists in the you know the the allowed array and then we're gonna allow the connection so the tmp now is gonna equal what so the, so the tmp is the options that we're gonna return so the origin is gonna be true that means we allow the connection and then uh, the other time i used used success status yes uh, that was wrong so it's gonna be option and then success and then status and then it's gonna be 200 else we just not gonna allow the connection then the origin the origin you can pass like false on or just like let me this tmp and then equal and then the origin is gonna be like false or you can like pass something that doesn't exist like stupid <laughs> or whatever you want so now it's not gonna be allowed and then we're gonna return so in the response it returns like the error which is gonna be null and then we're gonna return the temp which is gonna be the options and this way we choose from this uh, array and see if it does exist and then allow it if it doesn't exist we just don't allow it simple as this so now if we refresh the page on the front end we get the response normally because the origin we sent from existed in the array so if we change right here to 4000 we're gonna see now it's not existed in the array so it's not gonna allow it simple as this and you get the you know the access denied so this is was like pretty simple i know i had to do like a full tutorial for the course so you understand actually what you do so now you have the option to use it the way you want for me this is just like um, a tutorial so i'm gonna remove this i'm just gonna go app dot use and use course and allow everything because i'm using it like in the localhost now if you want to have you know your own settings or what you're gonna allow or not you can use that so i'm gonna have change this to use sorry for the mistake so uh, this is done and next thing we're going to talk about routes and how to manage them in an efficient way so see you